This guy just got home from work. We're gonna go call a fish. As you guys probably can tell from the title. Um, right across the street from my house. Right over right down the road. And try to see if we can get some collars. Fucking trusty hongi noodles, dog. Yeah, yeah. If you live in, like, I would say Wyanite. Probably, probably everybody in Wyanite knows. But I know if you're not a coolie, um, you know what that is. If you guys don't know, it's these noodles right here. Cause hit me on a hongi special, dog. These noodles provided by our local Manapua man. <laughs> um, but yeah, this shit slaps. So we're gonna energize all of his dudes. <laughs> dudes on his scooter. Yo, Dad, make sure you'll be careful when you're all poor hat. Right, all right. I'm on a poor man. Look, I'm on a poor man. Uh, but, poor hat. but yeah, so we're at the light. We gotta turn. It's literally like a left. We see this light. We take a left and a right, and we're there already. And uh, so yeah, basically, we're just gonna go. We'll show you guys how to, how to like hook you the limo. Fucking gotta be. No. Oh. Oh. That fucking man, poor man. Two boo fingers for not giving my fucking fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the light's good. Uh, we'll, we'll just like keep the camera rolling until we get there, I guess. Oh, you want life guys, on back roll? <laughs> don't eat and drive. You see what this guy's doing? Not a good idea. But shit, bro, I'm hungry. Um, literally, yeah, so here we go. You guys, you guys know where I live now? Um, I don't care. You guys know where I live. It doesn't matter. Because it'd be nice to put in your belt so this fucking thing's done. You love it, my belt is on! Door. <laughs> this guy, you don't have your own belt. Yeah. This guy's door is open. But yeah, right here. So literally, we just drove down the road. Like a right. Right? Right, where that black car just took a right. Make a right. And here we are. We arrived at our destination. So, we're gonna go fish out there for Carlos. Um, there's not really big waves, small. Um, but hopefully, we can get lucky and connect with a caller. Um, this video is going to be a little bit more of a vloggy video. So, you guys are going to see the video regardless. Even if we don't catch a call up, um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, we're just rocking to the spot. So if, even if we don't catch one, you guys are still going to see it. Because it's going to be like a vlog video. But, I'm going to get all this out of the car. Get the head strap on. Where to go. We get lucky to see Put the head strap on. And, uh, yeah. We're going to get out there. And we'll see you guys on the rocks. See you guys fat face. All I did was float her by lead. Oh. That's the same thing for him. No mind me. He's picked out his limo. Everybody has a different way to hook in limo. This is how I hook my limo. Yeah. I slam my body leg down. Hold my camera straight. First cast. You guys probably can't see because the sun is deadly. Oh, biting. Cut it. Cause it's biting. All right, guys, I missed my strike. Once this guy finishes up, I'll bring you guys back for his stuff. I'm hooked again. I'm back out there. That was a way better cast that time. The sun is deadly. Yes sir guys, we're on. Oh good size on too.
little one, guys. Yes, sir. Uh. Yes, sir. Uh. Hello boy. That's a nice one. Alright guys. There it is. Nice column. I don't come on the outside of his lip. Um so yeah, I'm gonna put him in a pond. Alright, let's watch my dad. Miss him. Ah, he missed it, guys. All right, I'll hook up and we'll get back out there. Tell you what, guys. I still on strike two already, but, bro, I would rather get strikes like this all day and not land one. Yeah. Let's get one strike yeah. all day and land one. All right, guys, I'm back out there. Try your patience with these little green gremlins grabbing some <laughs> green mode over on that there right now. Oh, shit. Going into the glare, I can barely. Oh, I just got snipped. Oh, guys, whatever that was, I just bit was massive. Did you say Oh. <laughs> I thought I got snipped. I just missed him, I guess. This guy Raba, now I'm not supposed to be on. All right, guys, turn this camera back on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you... All right, guys. I got another one. I just went to reel it in to check my bait. Um. Oh shit. Oh. Speedy Joe. Oh. Well, small anyway, but. No, that one was tiny. Yeah. Like I said, I never know. I even had him until I check my bait. All right. That's uh. I'm one and one right now. I can see him. Come over here, you can see him. Oh. Oh, he's on, guys. He's on. He's on. He's on, baby. He's on. See if he can land it. Oh, 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 watch out. Hang on. Hey, hey now. 
<laughs> no, I tell you, you go, it's not my pole. Bring them over Bring them. What do you think of all? No, I like using a pond though, I think I think it's like a natural fucking I about, like some water. Oh yeah yeah, yeah no shit. Nah, that pond over there deep. You can get them out too. Yeah. Yeah. Right there are two colors. Damn. Was the camera rolling? It's on. Is it is it counting down? I hope you guys got that, bro. It's I'll rolling. be real sad if you guys never see me hook up with the green gremlin. Alright. Let's switch it and go back to my cast spots. Um, if you guys watched the whipping video with the two Milus, um, you guys would have known that this is where I caught them. Um, but that just shows you how versatile these grounds are. Like, I can come over here, slay me lose. Oh, that's a bad throw. That's a bad cast. Or I can come over here and catch uh, Carlos. That's a bad, very, very bad catch. That was a bad catch. Oh, guys, I just had one. All right, now I gotta find a bait and rehook up. Hold up. Oh, he's on, baby. He is on. Oh, Reefy Joe, should I give him slack? Oh, he got Reef. Sucks. Uh, I don't big on two. Oh, I guess he just had a big strike, took him right in the reef. I'm pounding a new, I'm pounding a new too. Oh, that was a rip photo by you, heard the fuck up. Mm. <laughs> as you can tell brothers, I never bring my glasses, so this guy gotta find my line. <laughs> oh, that was a That would have been a money shot. Right, guys, no, take five break. Um, resize. We gotta resize the hitch. So, so far, I got a little less than half battery left. With the amount of battery that we did, we caught two collars. Two nice size collars. Um, he just got absolutely smoked. <laughs> this is what happened when the big man tax you, brother. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes you gotta pay on full then when we hook a couple collars, but yeah. Worth it. Yeah, he got taxed job. But yeah, I'm gonna tie up his rig real quick and then, uh, we will bring you guys right back. Play the camera straight. My little fucking egg bomber. A little egg it. Oh, oh, oh. we can really be fight. Whoa, 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 who
<laughs> a little fucking bangle. Oh, yeah. Hip, hip, hip. Boost them. Boost them. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nice little one. A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller than the other ones. A little bit. Got him, gang. First cast. After we re rug took five. First cast, bingo. Benton, Esa. Esa. Allah. Tree down. Oh, nice little zinger. Uh, we're throwing like more out. This guy won't catch Oh, we're done, we're done. Oh, it's a Daniel Maximus over here. <laughs> oh, look what you made me do. I throw all on a reef. You see a Daniel Maximus over there. <laughs> oh, guys, not only he missed this strike, this guy got on Daniel Maximus. Oh, my floor was gone, Gene. I wasn't even paying attention. Good job. Bites. Who bites? Who bites? Gotta watch how you yank that from the <laughs> back, Johnny. <laughs> You're getting bites, dog. I was getting bites. I'm not gonna bite anymore. Oh, I didn't hear one. Aha! Aha! Go on the head. Oh, I just got smoked. Oh, oh. Oh guys, that was the dude. Oh my goodness, I gotta rebate. Look, I'm bent my hook a little bit. Oh honey, now I'm... I'm in the money right now. He's on guys, he's on. Never mind, he lost it. Oh, 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 almost ate shit. He was on. Fuck, I missed mine because of you. I don't like it wet. I got smoked twice already in the same spot. But look at him though. Wide open the hook. Yeah, I don't know. Gotta be 
this guy got smoked in the same spot twice. showed you guys where we caught it but a little bit of a secret spot i know we usually tell you guys everything i'm sorry <laughs> sorry um but i'll probably show you guys how to cook it if not i'll show you guys another time i'm very tired it's super late um but yeah i thought i'd just throw a little clip in there if it doesn't make it to the other youtube video then it'll probably be All right, guys, don't mind the kitchen. It's a wreck right now. We just got home from uh, fishing, and we had no bites. But all he did was boil water, put the onions in it, um, still in ginger now. There's our lobsters, as you guys, like I told you guys earlier. We caught these lobsters, but I could not tell you guys where. Um, it's a little sacred. It's a spot that we found as a group, me, my dad, and Jesse. Um, it's like one of our spots. We ended up getting some to eat. We have a big family. That's why there's quite a few. We have 12. We have a lot of people in my house. Um, Jesse and them are six. They have, you know, between them, three, three each. Uh, and yes, yeah, so that way we all can fill up on lobsters. If you guys didn't know, um, the, the season for slipper lobster, and I think even spiny lobster, closes May 1st. So we have till sat we had till Saturday to get these. Um, lucky enough, we got them before season closed. And then another thing, it has to be two and three quarters, I think, across. Um, Jesse checked all his lobsters, and all his lobsters were legit. And all of the, the lobsters are all the same size, so it doesn't really matter. All my lobsters are good, too. Um, don't mind that. That's our Simon and stuff. It's dirty. It's wrecked over there. Um, he put salt. Okay, guys. So, since you, since you just joined us, all I did was put just enough water, put some salt, put some ginger, some onion. I'm gonna put some black pepper in this bad puppy and a little bit of shoyu and that'll be it. Once this thing hits a rolling boil, we're gonna throw our bugs in this bad boy. we we'll be talking money. Yeah, so that's basically all that's gonna happen. A um, bunch of nice lobsters here. It's been a while since I ate a lobster. Uh, also the collars, I'm just gonna wash off this pan. It's kinda dirty right now. That pan, I'm um, gonna throw them in the oven. We have a lit oven. Throw them in our oven. And then basically that's it. So I'll bring you guys back when I do the collars and then as we're putting the lobsters in the water. Guys, like we were saying, spiny lobsters are awesome. They're really good, get a lot of meat. But if you have not tried these bad puppies right here, meat wise, the yield isn't as great, but I can tell you, sweet wise, these bugs are hard to beat. And I, just a little word of caution some guys can eat spiny lobsters and they'll be okay but i've had family relatives where they've eaten slipper lobsters and had had kind of a reaction to them you know hives and stuff so i don't know if, if you, it's your first time trying it i would suggest you eat just a small bit wait a while and see what happens you know because i have a cousin literally who can eat spiny lobsters all day he's one of these bad boys and yeah it's over but um yeah, so we're just gonna I'm gonna we're gonna rinse all these in the sink and then I'll bring you guys back when putting it in the water. Peace. Alright guys, so all we did was put it in the pan. Wait, you gotta step yeah one second. Sorry, you guys can't see that because they're all black on a black pan, but all twelve lobsters in the pot. He's gonna put the lid on. So basically you're just gonna like kinda steam them. Um and that's basically it. That's just uh again, unfortunately I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys where we caught it. Another the sacred spot to me, Jesse, and my dad. 
Um, sorry, guys. I gotta put my shirt down. Not only would it not be fair on, like, not fair, but not only would it be rude of me to show to tell you guys because, you know, I'm not the only one that found the spot. Um, but it's just a spot. Like I, like I told me that earlier, I never thought I'd see a day where there's a whole pot full of lobsters because, unfortunately, the generation I grow up in, they're just Oahu doesn't have that many lobsters anymore. Um, not as many as it used to have, so it's really hard to get our hands on them. And the fact that we found a spot that has amounts of them is impressive, and it's just kind of one of those places I want to keep it on the DL. Um, so hopefully it will always it'll always have lobsters. But basically, yeah. So you just put onion, ginger, <laughs> shoyu, ginger, shoyu, salt, pepper, and then water, and then you put it in a pot. And then the just water you don't want it just enough because. It'll just boil it and it'll kind of steam it. I like it this way. I mean, you can just put it in a regular steamer, I guess. Everyone has their way, but I do it. I think that's what Jesse did. I, I've grown up eating it this way because to me, when I do it this way, it really infuses the meat with the seasonings. And you don't just get lobster, plain tasting lobster, I guess you could say. But like I said, these guys are really good. They don't have as much meat yield as a spiny lobster would have but they are sweeter and really, really awesome tasting. So yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's Jesse's lobsters. He has it in a steamer. Um, he has, like I said, he has six. So I don't know how he's gonna cook it, but um, I'm gonna bring you guys back when I'm throwing the collars in the oven because the oven's done already. I'm gonna wash the pan and we'll bring you guys right back. Peace. All right guys, so here's the collars that we caught on the pole, all three of them. Um, basically, like I said, all we're gonna do is put them in a pan and then put them straight in the oven. The oven's already ready. Hey! Don't mind my dogs, guys. Yes. Alright, that's sufficient in the oven. That's lobster boiling, they're looking good. Um, this should be done soon. So basically, we'll bring you guys back when both are done and we're eating. Peace. Alright guys, we just turned off the stove. As you can see, I'm not going to it up, but they're all orange. Um, so what we did was we put all the super big ones at the bottom and all the small ones at the top. So that way when the small ones look to cook, obviously, by logic, the big ones are done. Um, I'm going to crack one open real quick though. So, cut them right here. We're going to bring it back when he has it on the cutting board. Right, guys, there it is. Why the fuck am I like that? Yeah. If you guys wonder why I dig into this thing, cause this sucker is hot. Save the head, but it okay. All right, guys. So yeah, that was it. Um, it's really good. I haven't had a slip lobster in a very long time. Um, obviously I'm kind of rushing the video mm -hmm. because it's super late at night and we're tired. And no ever throw it ahead, bro. That's the best eats on the lobster. This guy's nasty, about that action. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of us catching collars. Mm -hmm. Um, and then showing you guys how we cook the collar. Oh, oh, not really the end of the video, but for the most part, that's just the lobster portion of it. I'm sure you guys how we cook lobsters whenever we do have the chance to get one. 
But yeah, we'll bring you guys back when we have the call uh, and then further with the outro. See you guys in peace. All right, guys. So here's the collar. Finished just to get out of the oven. It's got you know fat pieces. It's gonna burn his shell as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see him. Oh, little fat pieces. That's my little piece. Okay. Oh, we need after. Soft out, yeah. But that was that, guys. Um, I'm gonna do the outro here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Was showing you guys how to cook kala. Um, also a little bit on how to catch it. Like I said, if you guys need us to touch up a little bit more on how to catch collars, um, just let me know in the comments below. I'll touch up on that. Um, and another thing is showing you guys how to cook lobsters. Again, sorry we couldn't show you guys a spot. I know I said a million times, but yeah. Um, and that's it for this video. We're gonna polish off these collars. Finish off the lobsters and then go to bed and get the rest of the work week started. And don't worry guys, I mean, like we always say, you know, what the rules are there for us. So, you know, if you're gonna take something, you can take your legal limit. We have, I mean, we're not one of those where, you know, at just take one, just, you know, you can take your limit. Just, we just like to make sure that we always eat what we take and never yeah. throw something in the freezer and say, oh, I'll go and eat them later. And six months later, you throw in a way freezer burn fish. So. Yeah, so we caught three collars. They're here. They're gonna get polished off. We had twelve lobsters. There's only four in here. Um, these are for my sister and my little brother because they didn't eat it before, and it's one of those things where it's like peanuts. It's a really high allergic reaction stuff. So they just took a little bite earlier and like waiting a little while to see if they have a reaction. If not, they're probably gonna eat those last four. Um, and that'll be that. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Until next video, we'll see y'all later. Peace. Peace.